Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to use Yolo V8 object detection pre-trained model for detecting a person and we are going to use here live USB web camera frame. So I have set up here my live USB web camera and it's capture a live frame, a live view from my side. So we are going to use our pre-trained object detection model which is YOLO V8 S.PT and we are going to detect a person. So basically we are going to use the method which I have already shared with you how to use YOLO V8 with OpenCV and Python for detecting object also for tracking object and for create a counter for uh, counting the object. So in this session only we are going to detect the object using live USB web camera frame. We are not going to use here any pre-recorded video file. Simple. Also uh, I am going to share with you how you can uh, create a region of interest area uh, with the live USB web camera frame. We are not going as I mentioned we are not going to use here any pre-recorded video file simple so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends i have already create a playlist where i have shared with you how you can use yolo v8 with object detection also how to track the object also how to create a counter for object so watch computer vision with windows playlist then you will get an idea so in this session I have used a same python script where we have YOLO V8 S.PT which is pre-trained object detection model for YOLO V8 and then we have here our detection as you can see this is what our coco.txt file uh, then we have our uh, object detection method as I mentioned which I have already shared with you in different different videos so watch playlist so this is what our rectangle x1, y1, x2, y2 for drawing the rectangle on object. So in this case as I mentioned we are going to detect here only person. So if the person in live frame then it will draw a rectangle on the person. Then we need here a center point so cx and cy is there. So cx is basically x1 plus x2 which is our rectangle coordinates x1 plus x2 divided by 2 then we will get our cx and then we need cy for drawing center point so cy is basically y1 for y2 divided by 2 this is how we will get our cx and cy point for drawing the circle then we have our rectangle method as you can see x1 y1 x2 y2 this is how of course we draw our rectangle then we are going to draw the center point with the help of our cx and cy and then we are going to put the person class name on rectangle top left corner x1 and y1 so this is the basic method for detecting object and as i mentioned in this scenario we are going to detect a person only one class so i have used here my normal usb web camera and for uh, extension i have used a normal usb extension cable which is basically available on amazon simple so this is what my setup so if I start the code, it will start my live USB web camera and then you will see live traffic uh, from my side and here it is as you can see the zero is basically for index number because I have here only one USB camera so zero is the index number for camera and this is what live detection as you can see as I mentioned this is not pre-recorded video this is completely live from this is basically my gallery view and you, you clearly see our pre-trained object detection model is detecting person. As I mentioned this is pre-trained model. For perfect detection we need to create our own object detection model. So as you can see the result is in front of you. We are detecting the person. So let's just say I don't want to detect a person all other area. I just want to detect a person in particular specific area means the person arrive in selected area only in that time we are going to detect our objects 
I have already created the video how to draw ROI and we are going to use the same method but this time we are going to use USB web camera live frame. So let's just say I want to detect here a person in this area, in this area. So when the person come in this area and if our pretend model able to detect the person then only it will draw a rectangle on the person as i mentioned you can create your own custom model for perfect detection simple so let's just start so first what we want we want to freeze our frame we are going to start our frame one by one so mention zero over here c2 dot wait key zero let's just save the code and start the code this is the first frame of course this is first frame is basically blank so we need to simply press our space button from keyboard it will skip the frame one by one so as you can see now it's keeping a frame one by one so it's now freeze now if i press space button as you can see it's keeping frame one by one so it's detecting the person in in this particular frame so as i mentioned our goal is to detect a person when the person come in this area so let's just draw our region of interest area so for drawing region of interest area we need area coordinates so for area coordinates we are going to use here mouse event function so when we have our mouse event function of course we can draw we can draw basically polyline with the help of x y coordinates how simply as you can see if i move my cursor in this frame so inside shell we have two coordinates so this one is basically x coordinate and this one is basically y coordinates so if i want to draw the polyline let's just say i just want to start from here so this is what my first point this is what my second point this is what my third point and of course this is what my end point which is the fourth point so if i want to start from here so i just want to move my cursor over here and inside shell so because we have our mouse event function so we will get x y coordinates so let's just say i just want to start from here so if i stop the cursor over here inside shell we have points 762 and 373 so this is what my first point for drawing the polyline so i just want to create a new variable over here which i have already created here as you can see the area which i have already mentioned for this uh, scenario so just create the area as a variable is equal to in square bracket then normal bracket we want to mention our x y coordinates so as i mentioned just move your cursor over here and just stop this is what my first point just mention the coordinates from the shell 756 and 372 so this is what my first coordinates so just mention 752 and the next coordinate the x y coordinates and of course for second coordinates just move your cursor over here then again we will get the two new coordinates 768 and 485 so just mention 768 and 485 this is how you need to mention the polyline coordinates simply move the cursor over here then over here you will get the xy coordinates then over here you will get the xy coordinates then over here you will get the xy coordinates and you need to mention these coordinates like this way like this way simple so now we have our area now with the help of cv2 dot polyline method we can draw our area so here it is as you can see this is the method cv2 dot polylines then frame then np dot array and inside that we want to mention our area variable area variable uh, which is this one which basically points for drawing the polyline area then np dot in 32 then true then the color for polyline and the thickness of our polyline which is the two now if i save the code and if i run the code so now simply we can draw our region of interest area on live frame not pre-recorded frame as you can see this is what the first frame as i mentioned we need to simply skip the frame but as you can see we have our polyline so if i skip the frame and as you can see now we have our live frame with the help of normal usb web camera and we successfully draw a region of interest area in live uh, we can say in real time 
in real time with the help of our normal USB web camera. Now we have our polyline, we are detecting the person. Now our goal is to when the person is inside our polyline area, then only we want to detect. So for that we, we have our center point. As you can see the person and blue color center point, blue color circle is basically the center point of our person, which we mentioned CX and CY is basically the center point. And we draw the center point with the help of CV2 dot circle method. Simple. We want to detect the person if the person is in inside our region of interest area. For that we have our circle. So here it is as you can see this person we have blue color center point. For this person we have blue color center point. For this person we have blue color center point. So simply we are going to use here cv2 dot point polygon test method. So let's just say here result is equal to cv2 dot point p capital polygon test capital T cv2 dot point polygon test method and then we want to mention our area so our area is basically this so just copy as it is copy it and just paste it over here and then we mention our area then when the person center point if it is inside our area then we are going to detect our person so we want to mention here this center point so center point is basically cx and cy so just mention like this way in tuple format cx and cy and then false and then complete the bracket c2 dot point polygon test method and then the area then the center point and then the false now if you print here our result because we still freeze our frame so we want to skip the frame so as you can see now we have here one and we have here minus one so minus one is for the person who is not inside our area and the one is for the person who is inside our area now as you can see right now there is no person inside our area now if the person detected in inside our area then we have one let me show you here watch for watch for this person this person is still is not inside area when this person is inside our area because we we don't have a live frame right now because we freeze our frame so that's why this is not basically live frame so we want to skip the frame one by one so um, let just say as you can see now this person this person is inside our area and inside shell you can see that we have basically one we have one is there as you can see now one is there for this person as you can see the one person center point is basically inside our area and now we have one so one is basically for when the person center point is inside area so we can simply create here a condition let's just say if the result if it is greater than or is equal to zero then only we are going to draw a rectangle then only we are going to draw a center point then only we are going to put the class as a text on rectangle so now we are ready and we are going to start our while loop let's just save the code and if i run the code now there will be no detection uh, for other area there will be detection only if the person inside our area and you can see the result is in front of you when the person is inside our area watch for this person no rectangle but he's inside our area there is a rectangle there is a rect uh, detection basically watch for this person now there is nothing there is no detection there is rectang no rectangle so we successfully use our method for live web camera frame as i mentioned this is not pre-recorded video this is completely live detection using normal usb web camera as i mentioned also you can create your own custom model for perfect detection also you can use the tracker method for tracking the object for counting the object using live usb web camera frame our method is perfectly working
simple so this is for today we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye